So recently we've been noticing that a lot of people are still having trouble setting up the Mega Map 1 and 2 in their localhost servers for Project Zomboid. So Raycor and I thought it'd be a good idea to basically make a video version of these tutorials we have set up in the Discord server to make it a little easier for people to understand. So basically we have these zip folders, one for each Mega Map, and it's pretty much a plug and play Thanks to a member of the server, Thomas, right here. He's been helping us a lot with this uh, mega map, helping the community, and he put this together for us. So thank you to him. So basically, with these folders, I will have them linked in the description so that you don't have to dig through the server or anything. You can just download it straight from there. And what, the ha what they have in them is the server settings. So you basically just need to take them and put them in here. You go to your local drive, C disk, users, your username, Zomboid, and then there should be a server folder here, which if there's not, you just need to run the Project Zomboid dedicated server once and it should pop up. And then in here, there's the default server settings, but we can take the Mega Map 2 zip folder or whatever one you choose. Before that, you need to either install WinRAR or 7-Zip to unpack this file. You can search up either online and download them. Extract it here, and then inside this folder that it gives you, you're going to want to take everything out. You're just going to want to cut and paste it into the folder so there's no other files or folders there besides that. Get rid of it, and then... Um, it should be in your game now, so as you can see, we'll go to host, and there it is. You just need to click start and it'll all work for you as long as you have the mods downloaded. Um, this has all of the settings taken care of for you, so it should be good now. But other than that, I basically also wanted to answer a few extra questions that people have been having about the Mega Map. So. For one, um, it currently only works on build 41 because map mods are disabled in build 42 and once they get updated, there's a good chance that it might not work anymore because the map has changed quite drastically, but we will either be making a fix for it or just moving straight on to the Mega Map 3, which will be coming out uh, eventually no matter what. So look out for that actually. And then also, People have been wondering about this big gap you might see in the middle of the map in Eerie Country, and that's actually intentional because that map is not complete yet. So just FYI, that big gap is supposed to be there. Also, another one, you can add any mod you want to this, just as long as it's below everything else in the mod pack, and make sure that there's no conflicts. If it's a map mod specifically, make sure it doesn't conflict with any other maps in the collection, which you can easily check by downloading the Map Mod Manager mod, which gives you a visual representation of where all the maps are laying on the map. And then, if you see any red question marks on the trees or any tiles, that's because you are running in debug mode, and that is cheating, so that is your punishment. So do not run debug mode when using this. The weird anomalies you might see, like a line cutting through the maps or a shadow room appearing, like an invisible building, um, that could be caused by not resetting your map or adding it in mid-game. So what you're gonna need to probably do is reset your world or just try to find a way to reset only the select the section of the map which you've already loaded. You can use this GitHub project which lets you select specific zones in your map to reset them. As said before, this can be used if you want to add in more maps or you need new loot spawning. But be warned, any buildings you built on resetted zones will be gone forever. Link in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much all we wanted to tell you guys. Um, I hope that this helped. Thank you to Raycor uh, for suggesting we make this video. Thank you to Thomas for the big help with the zip files. And thank you to the community for all the Steam rewards on the Workshop collection. It's pretty cool to see that and we really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for Mega Map 3 once the map mods come back to the game. And let me know if you have any other questions, uh, whether in the comments or in the Discord server. So yeah, thank you guys. We'll see you soon.